Uh, any conflict can be resolved, blah, blah, blah. Um, do, do, do. I should be able to do something about my wounds. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could. Um, I don't think she's hurt. I think she's just bad. I think she'll recover. Um, Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. It looks like somebody passed their, uh, passed their time by playing a supervised version of Tic-Tac-Toe, but never completed this particular game. Game pieces consist of minerals that we could use. Uh, yeah, of course we'll ruin the game for everybody. I 100% support this endeavor. Uh, the dismantling of the supersized tic-tac-toe game in progress was a success. Whoever abandoned it was nowhere to be seen, and you returned with quite a hefty load of minerals. Yes, they were a bit hard to carry to the ship, being ginormous and all, but you've performed splendidly. So that'll teach them to leave their toys lying on the floor or at planet surface. In this case, I'm sure nobody will mind. April's still weak. April, uh, fucking Emmett asking for suit. All he does is fucking eat. Can I just say that? All he fucking does is eat. I'm going to heal myself too. I'm going to heal myself. So. I don't want to hear any. anything bad about it. Because that's what I'm doing. Uh, making more soup. What is this? Remember, ma'am, that your crewmate was imprisoned in the fortress with Phobian, who said they came from a real life enclave, a real haven? Apparently, it's nestled somewhere between two dangerous hazards far to the northeast. A radioactive zone. Okay, so that's the storm. And a mysterious forest glade. We've been caught up out here out before, Captain. But why would this death row prisoner lie? Should be held out into apparently real haven. Yes. I would say so. I mean, Dee Dee isn't back, though. Right? You're, you mean once Dee Dee is back, right? Okay, good. Gold Chief, send an expedition to the fortress. Uh, you decided that Phobian, your crewmate was imprisoned with, was probably telling you the truth, that the existence of a real paradise on Phobonus. Uh, you set up off of the directions uh, in hand and returned a few hours later with surprising news. This haven is real. You came upon its walls and were hailed as, by Phobian who recognized you. However, you blundered through the dialogue with the aliens, say, uh, with the aliens safe within the walls. They didn't like the cut of your negotiational jib. What? And wave you away, retreating into their inner haven. The Phobian who recognized you gave one final regretful glance. What? Are you fucking serious? Dee Dee came back. She sprained her ankle and is almost starving. It has a thousand yard stare of someone who has looked into the abyss. Fresh her chain and begins describing her adventure. Health and safety was not a priority in the Phobian quarry. Dee Dee has dodged Wardley's scaffolding and na uh, navigates slippery scree. The armor she brought along help got worn down pretty badly. When in the quarry, shovel. Dee Dee shoveled a pile of rock fragments. Okay. Unsurprisingly, the quarry was full of uh, minerals. The fact that you can find soup out here. These surrounding the quarry was quite fruitful. She is relieved to be home. Okay. April is in poor, poor health. Um, I am getting hungry. I think everyone may be getting hungry. Well, keep an eye out for another survival opportunity. Wait, like, actually, what? Are you being serious right now? Captain, a troop of aliens with clipboards are bashing on our door. Uh, they are heavily mutated, and some with wonky legs, some with extra limbs, some with no limbs at all. They are clamping some kind of device on the, uh, onto the airlock to, uh, to force it open. Fifteen and the little gas mask aliens sucked into our airlock and are scribing, scribbling on scaly paper. If you have a weapon, you could wave it at them or make a warning attack. Let's murder them. Uh, oh, hold on. Hungi. Fine. Hungi. Hungi. All right. Yay. 
grand. All right, Emmett, I need you to you head to the bomb silo, I guess. All right, take that. Take the power of jigger. Take the gas mask and take. I'm gonna say tape. Take some tape, just in case. So they turned us away from paradise for no fucking reason. This planet will fall. Oh my god. Tired of the trip and you take the aliens running around in our ship with clipboards. You pulled out a pistol at the wall. We were them shouting. They ignored you and kept running around pursuing every minute detail of the cabin. Eventually you opened the airlock and fired a warning shot. The bureaucrats stopped in their tiny tracks that stared at the gun with gleaming eyes. Then they hung out their hands, shuffled out. Uh, a real procession of protocol after our navigation system mapped a safe path into a deep fissure nearby. Emmett agreed to go explore it. Okay. All right, we are all good for now. Oh no, Captain, I will use my m monument to defend myself. Am I dead? No, they were happy with that. Uh, there are a few things uh, quite scary as True Believer with an artifact in their hand. The attackers clearly shared that fear. They were in a hurry. Okay. Okay. Everyone is good. What is this? See that lock safe in the corner? I'm gonna open that. Please. I don't know what's in it, but whatever it is, I want it. Uh, so about the safe, you managed to crack the code. I thought you were nimble fingered enough to get that done. The only thing inside was a piece of paper which read to do, put something useful in the safe. Uh, Emma returned from a nearby fissure, apparently deep beneath the earth. Uh, it's a silo full of bombs, hundreds, thousands of bombs at least, he said. Seemed quite fra frail. Well, let's blow the planet up, that'll fucking teach them. He seemed quite uh, frail, had a rumbling stomach and looks of stress. He said one entire wing of the silo was steeped in radiation, perhaps a bomb leaked its payload. Emma's mask kept him safe from the worst of it, although it suffered some wear and tear no nothing some tape could handle oh okay i can fix some stuff if i give them tape furthermore some parts of the stockpile lost power in the darkness emma walked face first into a warhead Ooh, painful and terrifying yeah i bet large chamber deep in the silo appeared to be an entire nuclear power plant emma had to be careful managed to find a secure port with which to charge the battery Brought back a small cuboid unit, which contained a lot of power. Somewhere in the deep labyrinth, Emmett found an office, one dusty drawer containing a surprisingly well-preserved first aid kit. Um, Emmett was relieved to be home, not surrounded by thousands or millions of warheads. Yeah, crafting cancelled, okay. I was actually hoping that we... it's fine, whatever. Well, that's three soups that we've kind of wasted. Um, alright, you're totally fine, actually. That's fine. Um, okay, you're hungry. Right. I need... I'll just keep filing away at soup. Ma'am, something has infected back a backup AI module. Perhaps it's Interfering some somewhere. Frankly, Bracken needs a reboot. He's overloading the fan system. Someone agile should leap up and buzz. Hi, folks. It's too warm in this tin can. And back he's here. Okay, who's the most agile? Uh, you, I guess. Let's go. Bum, 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 bottom. While Baki was in control, you asked someone uh, like to leap up and shove some armor in. No, I did not ask them to do that. Fan jam just long enough for me to reboot Baki. I must keep a tight leash on him in the future. 
It's more for superficial intelligence, but don't say that to his face. He calls that frail ego. Uh, I could eat. April's hungry, and Emmett is hungry. Well, of course, Emmett's fucking hungry. Okay, Dee Dee. Not a lot of places left. The storm zone. Uh, check out the storm zone, Edie, if you could. No, Dee Dee, my apologies. Um, grab. Okay, what do you need? A gas mask. Try that, maybe? A shovel? Um, I'm going to give you the lighter, and then I'm going to, a lot of our stuff is breaking. Okay. And we have a lot of materials, actually. Like, a lot of minerals. I'm gonna make the two more soups in the meantime. Great. And this... Planet's crust appears to have undergone a multitude of... Uh, causing a hill nearby. You find a broad chasm uh, running to the world's core. Jesus. Toofy rift to the tectonic crust. Most interestingly, on the near side of the chasm is half an angular alien bunker. Its counterpart is mostly on the far side and in ruins, but a cable runs between the two. Yeah, I'll tightrope that. I don't see how that could go wrong. I actually did it. Human on a wire, you definitely tiptoed across the crevice near the shuttle. Without a wobble, you approach the safe, which turned out not to be safe. It turned out to be a fridge. An empty fridge. At least if another bomb goes off in the world, you know where to hide. Dee Dee set off towards the giant shadow uh, on our navigation system. Who knows what she will find in the storm. Um, everyone is fed. Power that guy up. And last soup before I can start craft in other knowns. Oh, look how excited you are for everything. That's great. That's absolutely terrific. Absolutely terrific. Where am I? As soon as legs up now, Captain. Fry those bastards. Good job, pardon my language. For sending a gigawatt of power through the hole can make an AI say some things. The important part is that the truth. Who knows, Captain? The space shuttle. The space pirates are on the run. I suspect this. Watch it for a sec. Also, did anyone notice they were all apes? Um. I'm not here. We're not concerned about that at all. I'm kind of concerned about that. I'm glad I finally convinced you to go for a short walk around the shuttle to stretch, stretch a little outside. Even if you claim I forced you with all constant, my constant whining. Swear your own good, Captain. When you stepped inside, you noticed a small asteroid coming right at you. you. Tried to run back inside, but it looks like the airlock snapped shut behind you. I need a moment to reopen the doors for you, so you need to figure out a way to deal with the asteroid yourself. She, you, tr you tried to, you, you should have known that, murderer. You deftly dodged the asteroid's path, and when the dust settled, confirmed you're in one piece. Uh, on further inspection, the asteroid reminds you of partially chewed bubblegum. This gave you a few ideas about the scale of the universe and its inhabitants uh, that you weren't too keen to entertain. Uh, Dee Dee came back from the storm zone. She returned weak, hungrier than before, and very anxious, and just glad she weathered the violent voyage. Uh, the region's pitch clouds made navigation difficult. Dee Dee used the lighter to mark her path 
with fires. It rusted a lot during the heavy rain, I would imagine. So, during rather a uh, particularly brutal, brutal typhoon, Dee Dee ran directly into some ball lightning. Her hair is still on end. On the way back, Dee Dee found a crystal meteorite, shovel in hand, smashed it and grabbed the minerals. Uh, to one side of the storm dome was an alkaline lake. The handbook helped Dee Dee identify and gather some not too strong samples. That broke the book? How did it break the book? Around the zone's limits, Dee Dee found a number of strange electricity gathering devices left by the locals and managed to pull some more home for some power. Uh, a terrible and dangerous place storm dome, Dee Dee's glad she didn't receive any unsolicited exoconclusive therapy on the trip. Okay. Um, we're all kinda hungry. Except a, oh no, except Dee Dee, somehow. <sighs> Good. Craft. Uh, I'm gonna make some more. Yeah, I'm gonna make the two more suits. It's not easy to become captivated by the alien views outside the show window, but you notice one of your crewmates daydreams more often than not. Yeah, have a word with April. Before sending her back out there. <laughs> 